ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग फोक्स दिस इज योर होस्ट अमरबीर एंड यू आर वॉचिंग चंडीगढ़ डाटा रिकवरीज यूट्यूब चैनल वीडियो कॉन्टेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सम ऑफ यू हु हैव लैपटॉप इनफैक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल हैव लैपटॉप दीज डेज सम ऑफ द ब्रांड्स लाइक डेल सम दे इंस्टॉल विंडोज एंड दे गिव द लैपटॉप टू देयर channels and they sell it to the end users not many of you know that these uh, laptops have bitlocker encryption uh you right from the factory they have enabled that so what does that mean it means that if you have these laptops and you take out that hard drive and you take that hard drive uh, to some other computer like put it in a usb dock and then you try to you know check your data from the other laptop other desktop you will not find any content into it because all your data is encrypted by default and you have not done that so you don't have the password for it and you also do not have the bit locker encryption keys so today i am going to demonstrate a uh, a case to you from mr kush 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 from panchkula kush ji's father uh, and kush came to my office last week with this particular hard drive it's right here and uh, they tell me that uh, he wants some of his uh, images recovered so i am and what he had done was i think i have this right here with me he had used this uh, us uh, you know normal sata to usb converter dock and i think since past 1.5 years he is trying to recover this data so let's see what we can do for this gentleman okay to show you what this problem is and uh, how we can uh, uh, you know what what typically these people are doing uh the hard drive is connected right here to my system on the top and uh, now what we can do is we can i can remove this hard drive from here and we can then put it on to a normal dock at the back normal usb dock usb to sata dock any any of any of you can buy that stuff so let's connect this hard drive to that place so i'll just get up and uh, push it in the dock at the back i have around four of these docks connected on to this pc all right so the dock is connected now sorry the hard drive is connected to the dock let's uh, see i will also start screen recording uh, here i can see detection of this drive here down below i don't know whether you guys are able to see it says st 1000 lm 035 usb device is detected anyhow so this hard drive is a healthy hard drive there is no uh, there is no problem of uh, any bad sectors or weak heads or uh, damaged flatter surface or firmware issue in this particular hard drive now sorry what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, also record what i want to record so that uh, both of these can run simultaneously okay so i'm going to record uh, whatever i have to record from the uh, top monitor let me start the recording Uh, first uh, i am going to run a tool in which we are going to monitor the health of the hard drive so that you guys actually know what i am saying is full of truth because this is going to be a very controversial 
uh, video because I'm going to crack this uh, BitLocker encryption, uh, which is uh, you know installed uh, default in the factories of these uh, manufacturers like Dell. So here I have dragged uh, uh, the software and uh, the last one basically uh, the second last here ha. Huh. The third one says ST1000LM035 and uh, 11,673 uh, hours done, these many power counts. So it's a healthy drive in good condition. Uh, now let's forget this and let's go into a tool. So I am using uh, a random data recovery tool which I just found on my system. So this is that particular hard drive which uh, has this data. So let me just briefly fast scan it. It tells me I have a 499 MB NTFS partition, a 990 MB NTFS partition, a FAT32 partition and a 931 NTFS partition. So if we click on to NTFS partition, we don't see any data over here. Uh, assuming that I want to scan this hard drive in a little uh, you know faster way so uh, let's do that also for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, you know pause this uh, video also and pause my tool also which is recording the screen right now okay why I did this was because I want to use time lapse in this particular video clip that I'm shooting because it's a boring thing to watch a tool trying to scan the entire hard drive. So first of all, I'll start my, yeah, I will start my recorder and here in the levels, I'll say thorough file system scan and recovery. I'm going to click this. So it will keep on scanning the entire thing. Let us see how much time this is going to take. So I'm going to time lapse, uh, uh, you know, this or might be, I don't, I don't really don't know what I'm going to do, but anyhow. Let's start the recording again. So here you will see in the screen that uh, by doing level 3 scanning which is thorough scanning of the entire surface of the hard drive and then figuring out which file systems are there it shows me quite a lot of NTFS uh, structure so let's click the last one and uh, you will see that what we can so we, we find nothing in the inside this the second last one nothing the FAT32 one will have the FAT32 stuff that uh, this particular tool has so what does this imply this implies that uh, uh, because of that bit locker encryption by default by the company in their factory on the windows installation we are not able to recover any data from this hard drive so this is a very typical situation in many many branded uh, laptops so I would urge everybody not to do some stupid experiments with these cases. Hand over these cases to a guy like me who can do your job for this particular thing. Okay, now let this program run. I am not concerned what it is doing. Uh, we will now start uh, another, uh, uh, you know, um, tool and let's uh, break this uh, bit locker uh, by default encryption. Let me close the recording. Okay, recording is closed. Let me change the clip also. Okay, let's start the recording too. Focus is here. My focus is here. So I'm talking to you guys also and focusing here also. Now let's start a data extractor task. And uh, let's create a new task. Because the hard drive is not mounted onto the tool now, it is mounted on a dock back. It absolutely is no problem at all. So for the tool, so let's create this task. Oh, 
Okay, it gives me a, a dialog box saying what will you name this task. So let's name it new task 1. And next, and from this list we have this ST1000LM0 something. So here I start the task. Once this task is started, you will see on the screen that it is able to recognize the different different partitions in it and uh, if I keep clicking here uh, what do you see in the fourth and the fifth partition have a focus on this place let me change my uh, mobile phone into mute okay so what do you see over here we see that we have these uh, encrypted partitions two of them it says uh, basic data partition and then that is also locked. There's a lock dialog there, a uh, lock icon there and there's another lock icon there also. So now these are bit locked uh, encrypted uh, uh, partitions and I don't, I am a data recovery guy. I don't have that uh, recovery key and the password. Neither does the client of this particular product has the key and the password. So now let's go on to the first one. It says drive encrypted, decrypt. Yes, let's do that. And uh, the magic is done. And right here, we can see that we have that decrypted partition. This is his Windows partition. Now let's go to this again. And there was a second one also. So let's click on to the second one. It says drive encrypted. Let's do the magic again. And let's say OK. Uh, again another drive is added. And we see now that drive is also passed. And uh, we can see the contents of that too. So this is his D drive. This is his C drive. And... Uh, this is his uh, general drives on the top. So what do you see? You see that we have successfully broken the encryption that was done by default on this uh, 2 terabyte, uh, uh, sorry, 1 terabyte hard drive which uh, Kush had uh, given me. And then we have to scan for some photographs for this young man. I have already done that uh, product, uh, that process earlier before I made this video especially for you guys. Uh, but any case if you want to just see it a little bit I can just demonstrate it. Uh, here let's close these two and let's focus on the D drive of this gentleman and uh, here let's uh, do raw recovery and start this. You will see that a lot of records will start coming up over here including uh, images and uh, the images are here 55 jpeg images are already uh, you know scanned by this tool so i'm not going to bore you with this entire process but uh, here we were successfully able to bypass that uh, bit locker encrypted uh, uh, you know uh, laptop hard drives and then recover the data uh, so let me now close this uh, uh, recording that I have started and uh, also let me uh, now I'll uh, switch this off and uh, then we will click the last uh, uh, you know clip for this video where I will discuss a little bit about uh, what the process we did. Okay so I will shift the focus to you guys now. And uh, you saw that uh, we were able to uh, crack and decrypt uh, this particular BitLocker uh, based encryption. And uh, now we were also able to uh, get the data out for Kush. So I have already told, told Kush to come over and have a look at the data which I have recovered so that uh, if he uh, you know, if, if he likes the data that I have recovered, he can take it. Otherwise, he can pay my minimum charges and he can take back the case. So, in case you have such kind of a bit locker encrypted uh, hard drive, um, 
uh, which has come from a laptop in which factory installation of uh, uh, BitLocker was done by the vendor like Dell and uh, uh, you know you want the data recovered and your hard drive is failing you can get in touch with us. Uh, I am not talking about uh, BitLocked uh, uh, drives in which you have done BitLocker encryption and you have forgotten the password and the recovery key. I am specifically talking about the topic uh, which I discussed uh, earlier in this video. So this is your host Amarbir. If you want uh, any data recovery services to be done by us, give us a call on 9815-000-133 and 9478-600-256. See you guys in the next video and take care.